Fontaine 4.1 is on the way, and yeah, we're getting Nuvlet as well as our boy Riesli, but it also looks like we could be getting Hu Tao as well as Venti on the rerun parts of these banners in the first and second half of 4.1. But what about the four stars? Well, we'll talk about that, but hopefully they won't be the ones we discuss. We'll also touch on an approximation of how many different pulls you'll be getting from this update. And remember, this is just speculation and things could change in the future. Now, this update is gonna have two new five-star characters and they both look like they're gonna be primed to be damage dealers. So if you're looking for another damage dealer for your Genshin Impact experience, you might wanna sign up for those. Personally, for me, I'm gonna be saving for Farina because, well, Archons are almost never bad. But these two new characters could be paired up with some old favorites, Venti coming in as well as Hu Tao. It's gonna be spooky season starting soon, so it makes sense if she's gonna be on the phase two banner like we see here with Venti being on the phase one. Whether or not Riesley's gonna be on the first or second part is still up in the air until it's officially stated. However, going off of this, it looks like he might just be first. And as for these two characters, I still do use Venti, especially against enemies that I need to suck up in crowd control. There is still no one really better than him. Kazuha does have some nice gathering of enemies as well as other characters that have been added to Genshin, but Venti still has his good old Wins Grand Ode to scoop a bunch of people up and then also give you some very nice energy restoration or whatever it is, he swirls with his elemental burst. So he doesn't add as much damage to your party as someone like Kazuha can do. However, there are gonna be certain scenarios where you're gonna really love to have access to his elemental burst. Hu Tao is someone I still use to this day. I love her. If you're looking for big single target damage, you have the double hydro team ready to go with your Hu Tao. You can pair her up with someone like a shielder, such as Layla or Zhong Li. I'm personally still waiting for constellations for Layla so I can get her to C4 so I can get this nice little extra damage bonus. I love this team because you're either vaporizing or you're melting with your Hu Tao. You get that times two HP passive bonus, which also helps your shielders, but it also boosts up your Yelan and your Hu Tao damage. It's a very, very strong team to use in Genshin Impact. There's a lot of cool things you can do with Hu Tao. Obviously, Staff Ahoma is still insane on her. And if you're a wild man like me, you can go for the four-piece Shimanawa's Reminiscent set to get that big 50% charge as well as normal attack damage bonus. So you do so much damage with her skills. But what are these four-star characters? Well, this potentially could be some very bad characters for four stars. So the first one here, and probably the best one, is rumored to be Toma. Now Toma is a character got a lot better with Burgeon teams after the Dendro element got added, and he is a still pretty fantastic Pyro Shielder and can apply Pyro off the field. So if you don't have access to a Toma yet, you could get Toma on this banner. The other reason you could be excited for Toma, well, Constellation 2, where you get this three second duration increase actually makes him much more fun, manageable to play with as a character because it directly impacts what he does as his role in your team. You wanna have access to that off field pyro application and getting three extra seconds of that is a huge thing for Toma. So if you're looking for some more pyro dendro related Toma parties, with an off-field pyro applier, this could be one good four-star on this banner that you could be looking for. But I'm gonna level with you. I'm not really sure if the other two are gonna be that great. One of them I have high hopes for. The other one though, listen, I'm just not a fan of this character. Dory is rumored to be on this banner as well. And guys, Dory four-star came out, didn't get a lot of love. I'm not trying to hate on any Dory haters out there, I'm sure. You can do some cool things with her. It is Genshin Impact after all, but I do think she is one of the least played characters in the entire game. A lot of other Electro characters are much better suited for the sort of roles that you'd have an Electro character in your main party for, especially as a Electro support character. Someone like Fischl can be absolutely insane as an off-field damage dealer. We don't really have a giant use for someone like Dory. You can go and level her up and have fun and make her do things for you, sure. But if you're a longtime veteran, you have a lot of different Electro characters 
that you can utilize. Even someone like good old Lisa out here, if you get some constellations, you can get a very nice defense down from her constellation too. But if you're a big Dory fan, you wanna mess around with the slime, then this is something that you could have access to as one of the four stars on these 4.1 banners. Now, the other character I do wanna talk about who I do have some high hopes for, it's rumored to be Chong Yoon. Now, Chong Yoon has kind of gone back and forth between being a giant mainstay DPS or mainstay team member in some of the more powerful teams in Genshin. The original national team had Chong Yoon in there for the cryo application from Spirit Blade, as well as the damage that he can do with his elemental burst as well with some nice reverse melting. But on top of that, you could also just prime someone up like your Xing Ling to always melt with her elemental burst or her elemental skill as you're able to apply cryo with your melee focus characters. These are sword, claymore, and pole arm using characters. So don't sleep entirely on Chong Yoon. There's some really cool things you can do with him, especially once you get some constellations for him. Every constellation is gonna be increasing the damage that you do with your Chong Yoon, either by increasing the multipliers or having the cooldowns decrease of everyone that's in your party when they use their elemental skill. And you can get that 15% cooldown reduction for them as well. You can also get some extra energy with him. And then last but not least, you have the big damage bonus from the C6. And one other reason a lot of players like to mess around with Chong Yoon is you get that 8% normal attack speed increase. Now it's this 8% normal attack speed increase make or break for a lot of teams out there. No, it's not, but it is super fun to have the ability to attack a little bit faster in some of these teams. And he's also gonna boost up additional cryo damage with his second ascension talent by decreasing resistance to enemies by 10%. But here's the thing I'm really hoping for Chong Yoon fans. I'm not saying that it's going to be a thing that happens, but some characters can get buffed up just by other characters being able to better utilize their kits. We're talking about characters that came out and weren't used at all like Kuki Shinobu until we had access to Dendro teams to make them super cool. So one thing I'm really looking forward to possibly happening with our boy Chong Yoon, we're in Fontaine. We have a lot of Hydro stuff coming out. We just got a new Hydro character in the form of Nivlet. We have some new Cryo characters coming out with Reesley as well. We've seen some other characters like Fremnit who want to do Shatter. We could get some extra characters that utilize his ability to instill that cryo infusion on different characters. This can allow you to really run in with a mono cryo team on some of these characters, maybe apply Shatter more often, maybe apply the ability to do certain things with this new hydro focused region. Is that going to be a thing that I'm saying is going to happen? Absolutely not. But I'm always looking for a way to have Chong Yoon, the man with the popsicle, shine just a little bit more brightly for those who enjoy using him. I had a big friend who was a Chong Yoon main back in the day and uh, well, he really enjoyed the character. So hopefully we can get some more reasons to use Chong Yoon in the future. And hey, I get it. If these are the characters we're winding up with as four stars, a lot of players are going to be disappointed in a lot of different ways. Me personally, I'm still looking forward to some reruns for four stars I don't have constellations for. Like I mentioned before, where's my Layla rerun? I want a Layla on a banner. Hopefully though, I'll get rewarded and she'll end up on the Farina banner. Why? I don't know. I just want both of them. Make it happen, Mahoyo. And as a returning player, I'm also a little Primo Gem star, fate star, if you will. So here's something that I saw some speculation on how many Primo Gems we'll be getting in 4.1. I'll have the whole breakdown right here for you. Found it on Twitter by Farina Lover because I was looking for Farina stuff myself. And you can see right here, the breakdown free to play you can have about 104 pulls. And it says from the first half is 79, second half 104 total. If you're just a straight free to play player, no Welcome Moon, no Battle Pass, Battle Pass 130. And if you have the Welcome Moon plus the Battle Pass, 138 pulls for you there, up to 22,000. 200 Primo Gems. That's if you do all of the things that's going to be in the update. Limited time events, daily commission, Stardust Exchange Shop, Spiral Abyss, 36 stars. If you're missing some of this stuff, then you'll be a little bit lower, but this should give you an idea about how many fates you can get 
towards these characters coming out in the version 4.1 update. And like I said, this stuff could change and I'm waiting for Farina anyway. So let me know what you think about the possibility of these characters being in the 4.1 patch, as well as if you're pulling on these characters or if you're gonna be saving for the Hydro Archon. What is she gonna do? I have no idea, but I want it for the collection. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next one.